Another school year is starting, and if you're taking AP Chemistry, you might be wondering how to make sure you succeed this year. Hi there, my name is Jeremy Krug. I've been teaching AP Chemistry for the past 25 years, and the purpose of this video is to give you some of the best tips I've found to help students succeed in AP Chemistry. If you're new here, let me be the first to say welcome. Take a look around, check out my full AP Chemistry course playlist that has the whole course, units one through nine, along with AP free response walkthroughs, multiple choice questions, and tips to help you raise your score. I don't want you to miss a thing, so make sure you like and subscribe. I really enjoy reading your comments, and I try to answer as many of them as I can. Now, here are my top seven tips for succeeding in AP Chemistry this year. Tip number seven, you really do have to study outside of class. Some students just really don't like to study. But the honest truth is that if you're taking AP Chemistry, you're going to have to study. AP Chemistry is the equivalent of two college courses, General Chemistry 1 and 2. Now this is different from most other AP classes since most other AP courses are the equivalent of one college course. But AP Chem actually covers two courses. And they're not just any two courses, but some of the hardest classes taken by college freshmen. So every day, you need to invest time into studying for this course. This might include working problems, reading your book, watching videos, reviewing, or rewriting your notes. You have to put in extra time in order to be successful in this course. Now, one valuable strategy is to form a study group. If you can form a study group with two, three, or four of your classmates and meet regularly, maybe once a week in the afternoon or the evening, you can study together, work problems, get ready for tests, whatever you need to do to be successful as a group. If you set a regular date and time to study together, you're much more likely to follow through. So make sure you study. Tip number six, you have to pay attention in class. Like I said earlier, AP Chemistry is a class that moves very fast. If you're spending valuable class time messing around on your cell phone, listening to music, or scrolling social media, instead of paying attention and actively participating in class, your learning will suffer, and your AP score will suffer in the end as well. Since this course has a huge amount of content, it has to move at a fast pace. In order to finish on time, your class needs to cover one unit every three to four weeks. And there are nine units, so zoning out for even a day or two or a couple of class periods can hurt your performance. Attendance is very important. Since this class moves so quickly, being out of class for a week is a major loss. So make good use of your class time and make sure you attend class regularly every single day if you can. Tip number five. Don't compare yourself to others. Every year, well over 100,000 students take the AP Chemistry exam. Students of very differing abilities take this course, so don't compare yourself to other students in your class. Lots of students who take AP Chemistry are planning to become professional scientists or chemists, doctors, nurses, maybe physical therapists, and a lot of these students won't be happy with anything less than a five. At the same time, lots of students are taking AP Chemistry because they have some interest in chemistry or maybe they want some college credit so they don't have to take a science elective in college and they'll be happy with a three. So wherever you are on that spectrum, whether you're a high flyer or maybe you're just trying to take the class to learn some chemistry, remember, don't compare yourself to other students. Do your best and realize that that's all you need to do. Do your best in this course and don't compare yourself to other students. AP Chemistry tip number four. Get to know the AP Chemistry resources. Now AP Chemistry is probably one of the toughest AP courses out there, but fortunately over the years lots of valuable resources have been prepared to help students be successful. Now a really useful resource is AP Classroom. Now AP Classroom has practice questions and videos that are designed by College Board to help you throughout the year. Now your chemistry teacher will probably use AP Classroom, at least at some level, for assignments and instruction throughout the school year. 
Lots of students also use my complete AP Chemistry video course right here on YouTube to learn the content and review for the AP exam. My complete course consists of about 100 videos and you can use this as a resource to learn, review, and get ready for the exam. Another great resource is my Ultimate Review Packet, which provides more succinct unit summaries, practice questions, and study guides that are a bit more to the point than what you'll find on AP Classroom. Another excellent resource is AP Central. This website, also provided by the College Board, has all the free response questions for at least the past a decade for AP Chemistry and all the AP courses, as well as complete answer keys. These are all excellent resources to help students succeed in this course. I have links to all these great resources down in the description below. So get to know these resources and use them throughout the year. AP Chemistry tip number three, don't procrastinate. Procrastination really hurts students in AP Chemistry. When you get a homework assignment, you need to do it and do all your work on a daily basis. If you're going to have an exam Friday, don't wait until Thursday at 9 p.m. to start studying. Study a little every night. That way you don't have to cram the night before. If you're asked to learn something or memorize something for class, practice learning that list or those exercises as early as you can. That also helps long-term memory retention. If you're just trying to learn something a few hours before a quiz or a test, you're more likely to forget more quickly. Now for tip number two, do as many practice problems as you can. If you have a textbook, use it to your advantage and work as many problems as you can. If you don't have access to a hard copy textbook, use a free open source textbook such as the OpenStax General Chemistry textbook available online for free. I have a link to that free book in the description down below. Now, even better than working problems out of the textbook, though, is working actual AP-style questions. Just so you know, in my videos, both here on YouTube and in the Ultimate Review Packet, I focus on AP-style questions. Remember that you can work problems found on AP Central, like I mentioned earlier, and you can check your work with the answer keys that they provide right there. I also have lots of full free response question walkthroughs from the past several years of AP exams on my YouTube channel, complete with full explanations for each question. Just check out the AP Chem FRQ walkthrough videos playlist right here on, on my channel to access those. Students sometimes have trouble finding an adequate number of multiple choice questions uh, to use for practice. AP Classroom has a pretty good assortment of multiple choice questions. I work some multiple choice on, on my YouTube channel here, but I put the bulk of my multiple choice questions on the ultimate review packet. So once again, work as many practice problems as you can, both multiple choice and free response. Make sure to work through at least one full practice AP exam from start to finish in real time if you can. Your teacher will probably give you a mock exam at some point before the AP exam, and this is an excellent way to help get you ready. I have one full AP practice exam on my ultimate review packet, and by next spring, there will be more. And now, for the number one tip for success in AP chemistry, start reviewing for the AP exam early. By the time you get to the AP exam, you should have learned everything you need to get the score you want. But if you don't review adequately, you probably won't be able to solve the problems or answer the questions. The AP exam is like running a marathon. A marathon runner might be in shape and have raw talent, but he or she doesn't just wake up the morning of the marathon and start practicing. And no one's going to start practicing just a week before the marathon either. We're talking about several weeks, if not months of training, that go into getting ready for a marathon. And don't think the AP Chemistry exam is any different. Effective review will get everything back in mind so you're ready to be successful when that day in May rolls around. And just like training for a marathon, don't wait until the weekend or the week before that test to start reviewing. At the very latest, start in March. Even if you haven't finished learning all the material in your class, you need to start reviewing early and getting those early units in mind well before the month of May. Your teacher will probably lead a 
comprehensive review session with you in class. And remember that I have some of the best review resources out there on my ultimate review packet. For every unit, I have a succinct and to the point 30 minute summary video, along with a key concepts worksheet that highlights all the important points of that unit. Each unit has a study guide with several pages of practice questions that will help you review every one of the 91 topics in the course. So whether you choose to use my ultimate review packet or some other resource to get you ready for the AP Chemistry exam, make sure that you review early so that you're ready for the exam by early May. Well, those are my top seven tips for success in AP Chemistry. If you have some comments about these seven or you want to add your own tips, drop them down below in the comments section. I'd love to read them. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you soon.